Hello, everyone. My name is Greg Batlick. I serve on the Board of Directors of the Broadband Forum. Welcome to another Hot Topic video. Today's topic is how Broadband Forum helps operators get the most out of its access network. Today, I had the pleasure of speaking with Jonathan Newton. He is a distinguished technical expert at Vodafone and Broadband Forum's Access and Transport Architecture Work Area Co-Director and Access Architecture Project Lead. I also had the pleasure of having Tamaz Hogg. He is the Senior Director Architect at Deutsche Telekom. He is also the Lead Architect for DT's Fixed Access Disaggregation Program, also known as Access 4.0. He is also a key contributor in the ATA work area and an expert on SDN NFE. Jonathan, please share some of the key industry drivers that lead us to kicking off this broadband project that created session steering documented in broadband form work in text 474. Hi, Greg. So, so I think we're all aware that you know, operators are always facing this continued growth of, of data uh, driven by video, um, but also an increasing awareness from our customers about uh, aspects of their experience that are driven by, not only by the bandwidth, but the, the need for low and stable latency for their interactive applications. So what we see is, is this is driving the need to add more flexibility at the edge of our networks. So to, to support uh, the ability to distribute functions like content out into the network and uh, lo locations where we can support low latency edge services for specific subscribers. Um, and the challenge is, is that this is a whole area of the network which is traditionally has quite a static mapping between where the customer connects to the network in the access node and where we deliver the services in the service gateway. So what we've been looking to do here is, is, to, is to find a way to make that much more dynamic so that we can select the appropriate service gateways and sites to, uh, to support particular subscribers um, and seamlessly move subscribers around to be able to maintain the network better and, and scale things like the service gateways uh, more easily on demand. Excellent. Thank you. And Tomas, I'd like to hear a little bit of a brief description of the project and also the changes that they'll bring to today's network operations as well as current deployments. Yeah. Yes, John already said, so we have a, a paradigm change here. So when we look to the broadband forum history, well, we, we, we started with the famous TR 101 architecture, which is more a, a single edge architecture. Many operators follow that. Uh, then we have an evolution step of 178 with multiple service edges. Then we go to a cloud CO based architecture and the work and the project of uh, working text 474 subscriber session steering mm -hmm. is a consecutive step to gain out of the cloud CO capabilities to provide the flexible session steering to multiple service edges to steer the traffic according to service needs. So it's it is in a chain, a consecutive step of the evolution path. And um, I think it's very important to, to uh, consider existing architectures in order to bring them in, a, in the new world. And the, the new world is a, a kind of a intent driven architecture. That means SDN based each subscriber line or each subscriber provides a, a first sign of life event. And according to that event, a steering mechanism happens and the logic with a policy uh, applied to steer the traffic to the proper gateway and to the uh, to the service edges uh, which are serving specific needs. So the flexibility goes along also from the service point of view or the reliability point of view or even operation point of view that you can flexibly uh, extend capacity or reduce power consumption. So that there are multiple use cases and the project started with a, a certain set of use cases Many people contributed to that, and uh, we are open for new use cases being extended. So it is a framework, and for for us, it's a it's a fundamental game changer in the operation because we are changing from a static configured pre-configured access network to a intent-based, dynamic, configured, and driven access platform. Excellent. Now, and some of the next steps and the timelines that you're working towards. 
I mean, um, we just have uh, collected the use cases. We are um, looking to the migration scenario from existing architectures. We describe um, the mechanism. We also look to the data models and to the to the to the uh, data flows, and. Um, we are just in that in that stage that we that we collect that we analyze and that we that we bring the pieces together with among interested parties and uh, i mean it's a it's a very vital uh, working group where we move things forward that's actually and it actually brings me to a question for you jonathan about what is the type of help that you're looking for right now from the industry that you don't have yeah, so I think we, we've got uh, sort of a number of operators in, engaged in this, um, but there are obviously lots of ways for, for, for an operator to achieve this kind of dynamic capability. But what we're really looking to do is to have this in a standardized way uh, that meets the widest range of operator use cases. So, I mean, honestly, it would be brilliant to have more operators actively engaged in this work um, so that we can make sure that what's being defined really covers that widest range of operator needs and use cases and all the different deployment models that, uh, that we see out there today. Excellent. Thank you so much, Jonathan and Tomas. So whether you're a broadband operator or a solution provider, this is your opportunity to make a big difference of this work and also help launch it once it's ready. So thank you very much for your time.